study of inflation continues to rise. We headline inflation increasing to 9.1 percent in November 2015 from 8.8 percent in October, while core inflation increased 6.7 percent from 6.3 percent. The increase in inflation is attributable to higher food crop prices, uh, to the increase in electricity tariffs, and to the effects of exchange rate depreciation. Nonetheless, monthly core inflation has stabilized in the last three months after accelerating area in the year. The upward impact of the exchange rate depreciation on monthly core inflation has been partly offset by much lower services inflation. This indicates that the tightening of monetary policy since April 2015 has begun to curb inflationary pressures. The projection for real economic growth for 2015-2016 financial year remains 5%. However, there are downside risks to the projected growth, including those emanating from the external economic environment, which remains challenging for the economy and could deteriorate further over the next 12 months. The major risk factors include slower growth in major emerging market economies, further decline in global commodity prices, as well as reduced access to external finance for developing countries due to heightened perception of risk and possible monetary policy tightening in the U.S. Consequently, our balance of payments in the short to medium term will remain vulnerable to these external shocks. The Bank of Uganda's current inflation forecast over a 12-month period is lower than the estimate that we communicated in October 2015. <coughs> we forecast that annual core inflation will peak at around 10 percent in the third quarter of 2016, and then gradually decline toward the 5 percent target over the medium term. As with all forecasts, there are risks associated with this inflation outlook. <coughs> Future inflation could deviate from the forecast as a result of external shocks and or shocks to domestic food prices due to the current El Nino weather conditions. Given our macroeconomic forecasts, the Bank of Uganda will hold the central bank rate at 17 percent. We believe that this is consistent with destabilizing core inflation and returning it to the target of 5 percent over the medium term. The band on the CBR will be maintained at 
plus or minus three percentage points, and the margin on the rediscount rate will be maintained at four percentage points of the C on the CBR. The rediscount rate and the bank rate will be maintained at 21 percent and 22 percent respectively. This is the monetary policy statement for December 2015. Thank you, Governor. It's now over to you.